Hello folks and welcome to another beige box. This machine was purchased from eBay and was listed as parts on our wagon. Unfortunately that was the case and upon closer inspection I discovered the problem was a lot worse than I first thought. Initially on a visual inspection everything appears to look all good. And this is a really nice 486 board with the Southbridge ALI chipset dated 9528. The 28th week of 1995 is when this chip was produced. The level 2 cash banks are totally unpopulated. And a lovely socket 3 zip socket. And as we move around to the chip closest to the CPU, this is the Northbridge chipset which is dated 9532, which is the 32nd week of 1995. That was when this chip was produced. From these dates, that gives us a rough idea of around when this motherboard was produced. The board has four ISA slots, and three PCI slots. As we move towards the rear of the PCI slots, and to where the power input is, you can clearly see where the damage has been done. This is where a VATA battery has been installed, which has leaked and spilled its guts all over the motherboard. I have given it a one over with some white vinegar and a good scrub with the toothbrush, but it definitely needs going over again. I'm not even sure if the extent of the repair work that needs to be done to this board exceeds my capability. So then, in order for us to make use of this lovely beige box, I have at hand this QDI 486VLB motherboard. This motherboard is featured previously on my channel in one of my other videos where it was dust benched to check that everything was working all nicely. Currently installed is a Intel 486DX250 CPU. And the Opti chipset on this motherboard is dated 9520. 4 4MB 30-pin EDO sims, giving us a total of 16MB of RAM. It is a little bit unfortunate that we're not going to be able to use any PCI expansion cards on this 486 build, but fortunately we have the use of the VLB sockets, which was a short-lived expansion bus before being superseded by PCI. And finally, this motherboard does have a fully populated onboard level 2 cache. I'm not entirely sure of the size of the cache, but I'm sure we'll find that out later on. Right then, enough about motherboards, let's get this system built. Firstly, as a precautionary measure, I'm just going to install an additional heatsink to this DX250. I'm literally just going to stick it on with a bit of this thermal grease. I don't think it's going to be going anywhere. Right now that's done, let's crack on. Thank you. 
Guess just one screw holds this whole motherboard in place.
Now this machine's all together, it's time for the big moments. And that's what I like to see, a fully working 486 machine. Thanks so much for watching, in the next video we'll install some software, some games and see how this performs as if it was your daily driver.